Well, I switched from my laptop to my phone, uh, and now it seems to be working. But we've wasted 25 minutes. Uh, I don't know. Anybody still watching this? I apologized uh, so much uh, that the technical difficulties have uh, interrupted this. If you're watching, can you send a little message so I'll know whether I should try this or not? Um, So I had planned to do uh, about 25 minute meditation on how to brighten ourselves up. Uh, I am in my home dojo. Over here is a uh, shrine to some of the Japanese uh, Buddhist uh, entities. Behind me is the Toshindo Shrine. And over here is a shrine to uh, Tibetan Vajrakilaya. This is my house dojo. Pretty extreme, uh, but I enjoy it. Uh, we are getting... Oh, okay. Chad says, shows 70 people watching. Let's do this. What do you say? Let's do this. Um, so if you can sit in a level chair on the edge of the chair, not way back. Or if you're like me, sitting on the floor on a cushion, just make your back very straight. We're gonna ring a gong one time and that signals physically settling in. Physically settling in. So my neck is straight. My chin is pulled back in. My shoulders are relaxed. Tighten your abs just a little bit. Flatten out the back. Uh, relax your hands down in your lap. Just physically settle in. You probably feel pretty good uh, just sitting in this position with your eyes open. Your eyes open. Later, I'll have you close your eyes because there's nothing to see. Uh, you'll just follow my voice. But right now, eyes open back straight, head level, and it just feels great. A, kind of a noble, uh, this is the Asian ruler would sit this way on a cushion. Asian holy man or holy woman would sit this way as well. Uh, just enjoying being here. I'm going to ring the gong a second time. And just allow your eyes to close. Allow your eyes to close and or just shade it a little bit. Just shade it to where you can think about something. So be aware of the inside of your mind thinking about. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. And as you breathe in, feel your spine straightening and lifting up. Feel your energy building. And as you breathe out, just let go and you'll feel a little more gravity working, pulling you down. Your back is straight, but your hips are pulled down. Take another deep breath in, build your energy up. And breathe out. Feel your energy settle down in your hips. One, two, third little instruction, smile just a little bit. Smile just a little bit. Enjoy this. We're not going to work at their meditation. We're going to enjoy this. And just practice that for a few moments. See how quickly you can get in the mode. See how quickly you can get in the mood. And we're going to sound a third tone of the gong. See how quickly you can get into what appears to you to be meditative awareness. 
Eyes are closed. You're aware of your breath rising up and breathing out, breath settling down. And you can kind of isolate your awareness inside your body. You've kind of forgotten the room and uh, you don't even need to see me. You can just follow my voice. Yeah, this is into meditative awareness. Now we've gone pretty quickly. Let's see if you can do that. You can always watch this again. If you need a little more time, you could stop the video and spend a little more time there. But I'm going to have you now watch the breath come in. Feel your energy build. And as you breathe out, give off your energy. And as you breathe in, breathe in encouragement and healing. Breathe in nature. And as you breathe out, let go of any little tightness or tension in your body. Maybe you have a little persistent negative spot on your body. And then also, if you can, let go of any frustration or depression or anxiety or anger over this quarantine that we're all experiencing. Just let go of that. Just be here for just this moment. Just this moment. Take a deep breath in. Feel your body fill with this air and then breathe out. That's a meditation in itself. Just one breath. That's a meditation in itself. You can do another one and another one. Can you enjoy just being present here? You know, it's wonderful being able to be all together from all across the world. I'm seeing so many names popping up on my screen. We're all together. We are here. We're together. We're supporting each other and we're cheering each other on. Hey, maybe I should do more of these in the future, even after the quarantine, after this virus crisis has left us behind. Maybe something good can come from this. Maybe something good can come from this. Now, as you breathe in and out, continue to be aware of that in-breath. Your back straightens. Feels good to be together with all our friends here. And as you breathe out, just relax and settle into Mother Earth. Feels good to be doing this on your own, along with all your friends. And just imagine, with your eyes closed or your eyes shaded, just imagine in your head all the cells, all the cells in your head and working down through your throat and chest. And this is your brain. This is your consciousness. Your consciousness. And imagine, pick one of the cells, so many cells in your skull, in your brain, in your scalp. But pick one cell and just imagine the you that's watching this cell has gotten so tiny that the cell looks huge. The cell looks huge and you see the inside center of this cell whirling around, whirling around inside the center of the cell. And as it whirls around, it creates a brilliant white light, a brilliant white light. Can you imagine that? Kind of a friction as the center of the cell spins around. I know cells don't do this, but you're imagining the center of the cell spinning around and the friction creates an exciting white light. 
white light and just back away from that you can see maybe a couple cells this friction creating a white light and you back away and you can see your whole head all the cells in your brain and your mind and your consciousness and your scalp this friction is creating a white bright right light purifying your thoughts purifying your thoughts how exciting how wonderful how empowering you had that power to purify your thoughts and to see this negative situation oh i know so many of you are hurting you're out of work uh when is this going to be over we're threatened we can't get together with our friends in the training hall but just imagine imagine there's some value some good some value some good will come from this and allow that white light to purify your thoughts settle you down and maybe excite you at the same time how can I be of help? How can I be of help? And I'm thinking that. And I'm aware of that. I'm conscious of that. How can I be of help? Maybe there's a particular friend that comes to mind who's a little bit down. Oh, I've read some things on Facebook that people are thinking a lot now. <laughs> Maybe thinking too much getting worried, but thinking broad thoughts at the same time. Maybe you have a certain friend and you wish them well. You loan them some of this brilliant white light in your mind. You loan them some of this white light in your mind, brilliant white light that's purifying. And now just imagine that awareness moving to your throat, moving to your throat. And do the same thing. Your throat and your shoulders are so many cells, so many cells. But just imagine yourself becoming tiny and you see one particular cell. And it grows in size to where it looks huge. And inside the center of that cell is a whirling, spinning center of awareness and it's like a friction the friction creates a brilliant white light a bright white light in the center of this cell and the cell doesn't know good from bad to evil from good or difficult from easy the cell just is just like the cells of your mind and your brain, the cells of your throat, they, they want to work well. They want to be healthy. They want to be bright. They know nothing of what's going on on the outside. And just imagine backing away, you can see several cells spinning this white light. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And this purifies your speech, purifies your speech. How many times were you possibly tempted to complain or to uh, gripe or you might have even gotten caught in a conversation with someone else who was speaking negatively and you fit right in there. And this is like an apology. Oh, no, 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 I'm so sorry. My cells don't know what's going on outside. They want to be healthy. They want to be bright. They want to be white light. And I promised myself I will speak encouragingly or at least meaningfully. Maybe there's something that needs to happen in your community. Something needs to be said in your community and, and it may not be pleasant. How can I express myself in a way that more people will stop and listen to what I have to say and maybe not in agreement? I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to speak frantically. I'm not going to speak 
in a depressed way. I will speak in an empowered way. And maybe imagine somebody real, somebody real in your own life that just needs to hear a little encouragement. I think of uh, my daughters. They live in cities far away from me. And they have their children home with them and the kids are used to going to school and having fun and seeing their friends and it's getting a little old. It's getting a little old staying at home, but those girls are so beautiful in their encouragement of their children. And what can I say to them that would help them out? That would feel good to hear this from their old dad. <laughs> That's what comes to my mind. How about you? Who comes to your mind? Maybe your significant other, or maybe, maybe even your boss. Maybe you haven't seen your boss for a couple of weeks. Give him a call. Give her a call and just express your appreciation for all that they've done to you or, or your employee. You could call them up and just check on them. How you doing? Again, cells of the throat, bright white, light. And now imagine down at your heart, center of your body, center of your body. And that extends out to the arms and down your torso and through your hips and out your legs and down to your toes, the center of your body, so many cells, so many cells. And again, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick a few, pick one, one cell, maybe near your solar plexus. And again, shrink your awareness down to where that cell looks huge. It's teeny, you can't even see it normally, but just imagine you're so tiny, the cell becomes so huge and there's a friction and the center of the cell is spinning. This friction creates a bright white light, a brilliant light. Can you see that? Can you imagine that? I'm speaking pretty fast because we've got to wrap up in like 25 minutes and maybe it would be fun to take a little more time. But I'm going to imagine you can see that cell putting out bright white light in all directions, all directions. And now take your consciousness a little bigger. You can see several cells and they're all putting out this white light and you can imagine all the cells of the body, all the cells of the body, your arms and your legs and your chest and your knees and your toes and your fingertips, all those cells. And again, they want to work well. They want to resist any fatigue or disease that's attacking. Think about that. A few little disease germs attack your body and you have an entire huge body of cells that want to help you. Cells that are ready to go to battle for you. Maybe imagine a little, little disease sneaking in your body and all of these cells of your body marshal themselves and produce all this brilliant white light and Boom, disease is gone. Doesn't stand a chance. But you have to have that thought and you have to speak that way and then you feel that in your body. And what could you do? What could you do with your body? Maybe you're working from home. Get up in your pajamas, <laughs> make a coffee. Sit down with hair all disheveled. You know, in Japan, there are several employers that are asking their people to get dressed up, even though they're staying at home. Asking their people to get dressed up. And Rumiko and I had a little chuckle over that. Can you imagine that in America? No, it really has an effect. 
it has an effect how I look and how I present myself to the world and how I present myself to myself, how I see myself, all these white light cells. What can I do? What could I do to help someone else? Maybe there's someone you know that Rumika is a friend, she's older, and uh, she has a hard time asking for help, but she needs help. She needs someone to go to the grocery store for her. And so Rumiko makes little trips. And this person is very embarrassed. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, but we know. No, she needs help. Maybe there's somebody like that in your life. Someone you can help. You can be of value to. Maybe there's a co-worker who's working at home. You can be in touch with them and you can plan out bold visions for what's going to happen when all this miserable times blow over and we can return. I don't think things are going to be the same. I don't think things are going to be the same. Now's the time to make bold plans. So we think, we purify our thoughts, we purify our voice, our expression, we purify our body and our actions. Take just a few moments, crank it all up, mind and voice and body, just a few more moments. All those cells, they don't know what's going on outside. They only know what you tell it. You, they, they only know what you tell them. And you tell them it's a grand time and it's a perfect time. And they spin and generate this bright white light. Bright white light. And take a few moments, just a few moments before we wrap up, a few moments and think of all the people that you would love to share that white light with. Maybe encourage them. They may not go through a meditation with you. But you can encourage them. Maybe your significant other. How you doing? Spending all this time together. How you doing? Are you finding new things to talk about and explore and build your relationship? Now is a perfect time. Oh man, when we were all working 60 hours a week and we'd say, oh man, you know, we, we live for vacation. Wouldn't it be great to have vacation? We can talk and we, now's the time. You have the time. Your significant other or maybe your, your parents, mother or father, mother or father, what can you do to be encouraging to them? Your children, your children. I mentioned my daughters. How about your children? Do they need to hear something encouraging from you? And I don't mean fakey, feel-good talk, nothing fakey, just from the heart. Hey, isn't it wonderful we're all healthy? Isn't it wonderful we get to spend this time with our family? And be ready to chuckle if your kids have stories like my, my, my daughters do. And how about your brothers and sisters? Brothers and sisters. And their families, can you imagine sending this white light out to your brothers and sisters and having it cascade down through their significant others and their kids and, and then the people that you work for, your, your boss and your boss's boss and maybe you have an assistant and uh, someone who helps you and just feed that white, bright light out. And maybe you can think of certain Quest Center owners that you enjoy seeing. God, we missed the April Black Belt Seminar this year. We missed it. Done. We will not have the opportunity to get together. But we can get together through Facebook and uh, FaceTime or Skype. See them in your mind, those, those good friends of yours. Good friends of yours and wish them well. Send them some of that white light. Bright white light. I find in serving other people, that makes my life so much more meaningful. 
I'm aware a few people out there count on, on me to encourage them and set an example for them and show them what they're going to be when they're 70 years old. Uh, I'm very aware of that. And I do my best to think those positive thoughts and speak and express positive, encouraging things and do helpful things with my body. How about you? Can you be the same? Can you do the same? Helping others. Take just a few more moments, a few more moments, and then just see everything turn into white. <laughs> everything becomes bright white light. You are in the middle, you're like a beacon. Bright white light and every direction you look is this white light goes through your skin and brightens up the whole world around you. Brightens up the whole world, all these people and things and trees and buildings and walls and chairs. Everything becomes bright white. You can't see anything but this brilliant white light. That's what we were built to experience. That's what we were built to experience. A few more seconds, everything. Bright white light, everything. Happy, healthy, all so wonderful. And then you can't stand it. You can't stand it anymore. Take a deep breath in and blow it out. Wiggle around, open your eyes. Return your awareness to the room. Hey, how long was that? How we did like 20 minutes, I think 20 minute meditation. Uh, how many enjoyed that? How many found uh, you could do that? How many could sort of do it and then lost track of the white light? Oh man, lots of hearts. <laughs> good, good. Um, maybe a little doubt came in there. A little doubt. Oh, and I, I lost that, but you could go back to it. You could go back to it. Uh, and, and you can rerun this. You can rerun this. Um, we'll uh, certainly put it back up. You can rerun it, experience it over and over. You sure have time. Uh, See what you make of that. See what you can make of that. You can be the healer. You can be the uh, example. You can be the benefactor. You can be the one that people enjoy having around because you radiate this white, bright light. Hey, thank you so much. I so apologize for my technical screw up there. Uh, I'm learning. This is one thing I'll get from this quarantine. Uh, um, I'm upgrading my technical knowledge. And I don't have my friends here to do it for me. Social distancing. So I have to figure this all out by myself. Uh, so thank you so much for bearing with me. Uh, we'll do some other of these. Want to do some other of these? Uh, we can do them by, uh, uh, oh, lots of hearts. Uh, we can do some more of these uh, if they're helpful. Uh, head out into the weekend. Have a great weekend. Have a great week ahead. Be aware of that bright white light. Be aware that you are a benefactor. You are a helper. You, are, you have the possibility of brightening up this world. And, and if we can touch a few more people and get a few more positive ones, a few more bright ones, um, maybe, maybe we can will this virus uh, out of existence. Who knows? Who knows? Thank you so much. I enjoyed tonight.